And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Kind of a what we call persistence forecast for the day on Friday. Sort of saying more of the same. Scattered showers, a few thunderstorms as well, especially later in the day into the evening hours. 72 for the high, so temperature still well below average. Look at the numbers speaking of temperature. September 1st, Amarillo topped out at 99. Broke a record on September 7th. Actually, two records. A record high for the date and a record high for the month of September. And look at that yesterday, September 13th. The high was only 69. So September is a month of change and interesting weather. Got a couple of pictures on Thursday of cold air funnels. See in the center of the picture, there was a funnel cloud there. It's between Cactus and Dumas. These are caused by rapidly rising air. We had some breaks in the clouds. Didn't clear out altogether, but the sun beats down on the ground, warms the ground in little pockets because the clouds are sticking in some spots. But that warm air that uh, warms up next to the ground becomes like a hot air balloon. It rises up and it can rise pretty rapidly and sometimes it can start spinning. And look at the pictures we got in. Appreciate those folks sending them in. Again, near Cactus and Dumas called Cold Air Funnel. They generally do not reach the ground. They're not warned for usually. If they reach the ground, it would be a tornado, although it's not necessarily from a thunderstorm. But usually they're not particularly strong either. Maybe up to 80, 85 miles per hour in very, very rare cases. Generally don't last too long either, but kind of cool to see. So 70s for a couple more days. Then we're in the mid 80s for next week. Pretty close to average for this time of year. Here's the computer forecast model. Again, hit and miss showers, thunder showers possible even into the early morning hours on Friday. Some heavy downpours with these. Not looking for a big severe weather outbreak, but some strong gusty winds, a little bit of small hail is certainly not out of the question. By 3 a.m., this particular model has some heavy rain in the southeastern parts of the Panhandle. And some new showers by daybreak, developing from the eastern parts of the region into western Oklahoma. Scattered showers possible through the day. And then late in the day, we look to another line, broken line of thunderstorms developing just to our west and then heading eastward. This is Friday, 6 p.m. Those thunderstorms kind of come and go. Some of them congeal into heavy rainmakers. Again, this is 9 p.m. here on Friday. And then that activity should develop out of the region by very early in the morning on Saturday. I think by then we should be done with any rain chances. And the weekend looks dry with the temperatures, as I mentioned, warming up a bit. But most of the panhandle in the darker green area, that is a chance for some severe weather. Again, strong gusty winds are possible near these storms and a little bit of small to even medium-sized hail. 60% rain chance, 74 on Friday. Clearing out for the weekend, temperatures going up 84 by Sunday. Small rain chances Monday and Tuesday, and temperatures going into the mid to even upper 80s by the middle and latter part of next week.